Are you feeling a bit lonely? Do you want to talk to someone? Well, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make your own wafer bot. So, let's begin. So, before we actually start, you know, making our little friend, we first need to go to rapidaicom waifu ai api waifu so we can get an API key. Since in this video, we're going to be using the waifu API. So, what you want to do is go to pricing, select the basic plan. You could go for pro, they're basically the same. The only thing I really changes is that with pro, you'll be charged one cent every request. But after 30, 31,000, you know, requests, other than that, just like that, sign up to the thing, and if you go to endpoints down here and scroll down a bit, you will see the X Rapid API key. You gotta save that because that'll be useful since we're gonna be using that to, you know, communicate with the API. So after that, just set up your bot like you usually do. Um, you can use an existing bot, it doesn't really matter, and basically let's go. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is import three different modules. The first one being JSON, since we're gonna do JSON requests. And next, we need to import AIOHTTP, which will basically request stuff to the API. And then lastly, we need RE. I'm not bothered explaining what this is, because personally, I don't even know. But other than that, just request it, basically import it, and it will be good. So the next thing we really need to do is actually make four different variables. I think it's four, maybe six, I don't remember. The first variable is going to be bar underscore name, and you can name this to anything you want. For this time, I'm going to do waifu since, you know, we're creating a waifu. Then we're going to create another variable called situation. As the name suggests, it's pretty self-explanatory. I guess that could do, I mean, we can do that, I guess. That's a bit weird, but um, situation, it's the situation your bot will be in. In this situation, we're going to be bot hella horny, apparently, but, you know, whatever. And then next, we need the API key. The API key is the key that you got from here, so basically what we do is just copy the key down here and then just paste it into the thing down here as you can see I already have the API key imported and then lastly what we need to do is translate from which is the language it's going to translate from for example you might be speaking in Russian so you change that to Russian but for us to be English and then we're translating it to English or any other language of your choice so after that these are our five variables done it wasn't four we can now create ourselves a function. So we're gonna create this function, waifu AI query, with three different parameters. First one being the query, next being the user ID, and then being the username. These are pretty sex explanatory, sex explanatory. So now we, so what we're gonna do is create a query string. So just type in query string and curly brackets. We're now gonna do a query string. The first one is being the user ID, which is going to take the parameter of user ID. Next, we're gonna have a message, which is going to be the query. Then we're going to do from name, which is the username, and then we're going to do to name, which is the bot name, and then the situation, and then lastly, we're going to translate it and drop set good. In. After that, we need to create ourselves an object, so let's create an object, and in this object, we're going to have key one, set that to the value, and key two, set that also to the value, and then lastly, close these in because Python is yelling at me, and now we need to transfer that from a Python object to a JSON object. So, how do we do that? Well, it's pretty easy. All we're going to do is payload is equals JSON dot dumps, and then inside the uh, we're doing we're going to do my object, which is the parameter. Basically, JSON dumps converts it to you know a JSON object. But then lastly, we need to also create the headers. Headers will basically be important. It will tell where the API is going to go. Well, to be honest, what the API is. So we're going to do headers is equals, and in here we're first going to do content type, which is you know application slash JSON. Then we need the host, so I'm going to do this, and the host can be gotten from the website, here we go, X Rapid API host, just copy and paste this into here. And then lastly, we need the API key, which we got through here. So basically, we got the key, we got the host, and this will basically communicate with the API. However, at the moment, we technically just have, you know, we have some JSON objects, and this will basically do nothing. So we need to do a request to the API. So how do you do a request? Well, we do async, and in here, we're going to do async with AI HTTP client session and basically initiate in a client session. And here, we're going to be basically be doing async with session with session dot post. Here, we're going to do L. Then we're going to do data as the payload, which is um, over here. Then headers is going to equals to headers, which we just created above. And then params. I can actually spell it. Params is equals to query string as response. 
And before we actually continue, as you can see down here, we have an L thing that's basically says, oh, it's not defined. What do we do here? Basically, at the top of this function down here, just type in URL and set that to https slash slash waifu.pvapidabat.com slash path. So I just do that down here. I'm going to get this code available on GitHub. Um, but other than that, um, basically back to our function down here. And here we're going to and here we're going to do reply is equal to await response dot text. And inside here, we're going to and inside here, we're going to do encoding and set that to UTF eight. And all this basically is, is just an encoder as you know, this suggests as this basically suggests. And then outside this, we are just going to do return reply. So we're returning the reply we just got from the API. So basically we're, you know, doing a request to the API, we're sending some data, we're returning some data, and the return data will be returned from this function. So now um, below the our event function, if you have one, we're gonna do another event. So do event, and it's gonna be called on underscore message. And inside of here, we're gonna have parameter of message. So now we have to do some, you know, checks to see if the message is from a user, not from the boss. So to do this, we're gonna do if, message dot author is equals to bot dot author then we're going to return it elif if the message is from from the bot then we're also going to return it however if message dot content dot starts with and then we're going to have prefix you can set up anything to really want i'm going to retard and set that to uru and if it starts with uru then we are going to basically run this function. So how do we do that? Well, first we're going to do a cool little thing. We're going to basically have an illusion that the bot is typing. So to do that, we're first going to do async define. Actually, it's going to be async with message dot channel dot typing. And here we're going to do query is equals read dot sub uru plus nothing and then nothing here again and then last layer plus last we're going to do message dot content and then we're going to do response is equals to I wait to write through and then we're calling this function now and then putting some parameters in first one being the query which is one the one down here then we're going to do message the author ID to get you know the author's um, ID and then the author's name down here and then lastly we're just going to basically do a message send the message back to the channel and then we can actually return this event so basically now if um, the user types in uru and then something afterwards we're going to go through this function return some data and then when we return some data we're going to print it out and then we return it from this on message event so now if we just do f5 go to our pop playground as you can see my bot is here running so now if we do uru how are you? It's gonna basically do nothing, but has not attribute author. Right, this is supposed to be bot.user, not bot.author. So if now do bot.user and we load the bot, this time it should 100% work. So now if we do uru, how are you? There you go, Hanukkah is typing, and then that's a weird thing to say, but um, now you have someone to talk to um, if you don't have a girl, just like me, because I'm fucking sad. Other than that, I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to this channel. Comment down any other stupid ideas you want to have. Join my Discord community, because we always do this stupid shit on stream. Other than that, see you guys, and bye-bye.